Good <laughs> while I was filming. What's yeah. going on? Yeah. Kitchen screen and I was documentary Phoenix. I didn't know his story to that extent. Call with this white boy since Eminem. Yo, come on, we're here at Kitchen Screening of Phoenix at Layton Six from College. It's probably not. I'm trying to make, make some noise if you're here for Kitch. Uh, I'm an ex uh, LSE student here. Uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, I really um, appreciate it. It's my first um, ever um, event, so everyone who's here uh, means a lot to me. Thank you very much. Nice, nice. Um, Tim. Yeah, hi, um, I'm Tim. I'm the uh, I'm the filmmaker, and uh, yeah, I collaborated with uh, Kitch on uh, Phoenix. I'm a different class, a different league. Compare me to them dogs. I'm a different breed. Only had pennies in my pocket. Stop it. Now my pen is filling up my pocket. I've been to loads of um, gigs and loads of like um, open mics. Table, look at how I turn tables. Generational wealth, I'm trying to get a mortgage. Racking up my stack until I can't afford it. Tells the housing boy, but with millionaire dreams. I mean, they turn into like ciphers, into like battle raps type of thing. Um, and because of my stammer, I struggle in rapping uh, a cappella. And I struggle to um, freestyle. So I can um, think of all the like, um, rhymes. But then just um, getting it out, I mean, it's hard. But I let it be known, I got the evergreen flow So regardless what I'm spitting, man, it never gets old I'm doing shows and I keep on shedding it You never would have thought I got a speech impediment I shy away from those sorts of events Which then means that I'll, that I, um, um, I'll lose out on opportunities So we have Kitch once again I'm back <laughs> And today's a bit different, it's not bars A lot different, a lot different today um, we're having a shoot for some sunglasses. But I try my best to just like firm it, is what it is. Um, uh, I and mean, just try and just um, go for it still. I linked up with French when I weren't in the mood. Didn't even talk, we just worked on this tune. It's like he subconsciously knew. More time I think he was suffering. I just wanna turn up with my guys. Never gonna let up on my grind. I've always been um, interested in the idea that a vocal performance, you know, singing and rapping, even beatboxing, um, can help people with stammers, uh, you know, be more fluent. I don't know while they're doing that particular thing. I have a, I, I have a stammer myself, um, and I used to sing in bands when I was younger, and I, you know, the same, the same thing was, you know. Um, happened to me basically. Um, so I kind of wanted to explore that um, and so I did a bit of research um, and I came across Kitch and his story. Um, yeah, and I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought it'd be great to um, explore that. He'd already done something, uh, something with the BBC that I've seen. Um, I thought, yeah, it'd be great to explore that story more um, and um, yeah, and try and do a short film that is hopefully, you know, uh, 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 cinematic in scope, um, and uh, yeah, yeah, I hope that's what we achieve. But we've also, I mean, kind of made this a while ago now, right? And so we were coming, we were, you know, with COVID and uh, you know, lockdown was still very fresh in everyone's minds, and it was a bit like, okay, just haven't actually made anything in a long time. You're really keen to just go out and make something, and just you know, uh, collaborate with someone. He's keen to make something as well, so. It's already out now. Along with I Got Flows. Music videos online. Everything. I'm gonna slow it down a bit. Just listen to this one. I just wanna turn up with my guys. Never gonna let up on my grind. So I stay running from my life. Get away for the night. Get away for the night. See, say that I'm quiet, but I call it reserved. Save my thoughts for a verse. They say that I'm bluff, but it's hate that I feel. Can't sleep right, I'm taking a pill. Past few months, lost more than I gained. Had a friend, but he transformed to a snake. Death of an uncle, I'm moving insane. I'm trying, but nothing's really soothing the pain, like. Linked up with French when I weren't in the mood Didn't even talk, we just worked on this tune 
It's like he subconsciously knew More time I think he was suffering I just wanna turn up With my guys Never gonna let up On my grind So I stay running From my life Get away for the night Get away for the night I feel my stomach getting worse and it hurts Normally it works in reverse but it's cursed My pride turn and it's hurts getting burst Perched on a curve, rehearsed in a verse But I can't feel lost if I feel numb They say I work too hard, still young But I'd rather stay busy than stay bored Otherwise force creep up, I gotta run Every time I run, it turns to a chase So I hit the run, little bit of chase Tracks getting spun, fill it with a bass Only time to see, smile on my face there's a missing piece in the inner me And I'm feeling devoid when I use my pen But if it's not music then I just wanna turn up With my guys Never gonna let up On my grind So I stay running From my life Get away for the night Get away for the night I just wanna turn up I didn't inspire me anyone to do anything So not just someone who wants to get into music you know, it's such a fundamental thing to overcome, intrinsic to what Kitsch does, you know, to have trouble speaking, to overcome that, to actually rap, that can inspire anyone in any walk of life. Kitsch, keep growing, keep going, man. Hi, Kitsch. I just want to say congratulations. So, so proud of you. We can't wait. Not being able to perform in public to now he's doing shows at Glasgow, got a movie made about him. I want to see him on the highest of highs. I was on the back rows now I'm at Glasgow, trying to be on stage, getting that bank note. They're avoiding me like lactose, but watch next year, it's a fact bro. Uh, well done today, uh, really good job. Um, Organise this all yourself with Tim, love that. Great dog, great performances, very professional from when you were first a student here. Uh, next thing I want you to see you do, stop coming back here. Big places. I want to start coming to O2 academies and things like that. Make it happen. No more later. Just finished up at Kitchen's screening of his documentary Phoenix. Um, obviously, you play the documentary, little Q and A, performance, and whatnot. Got a little exclusive of the EP. Listen, I've got a future rap legend right here. Let's make some motherfucking noise for Kitch. Oh yeah, I do want to say congratulations as well because oh, thank you. Man. Yeah, I was telling, you, I don't get her name, but the whole event itself was, yeah, it was up there. Do you think? Yeah, yeah. I was a bit like, <laughs> I was a bit like, um, I'm anxious about it because it's obviously not your like traditional. Hip hop or like rap event. Yeah. So I so I wasn't sure how the two would like um, coincide into like the film world, um, into like the um, into the Q and A. I was like, um, is it going on for too long? Uh, is it like not um, engaging? But but with all the feedback um, I've heard so far, it seems like it um, went down well. Yeah, man. Fucking um, like amazing event. Still, like I've never I've never been to a rapper's event that is like this, and. Um, I think for Kitsch, like, it's 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 great to see, it's great to to um, to have more insight into his life, how things are affecting him, and how he's kind of pushing through. And you get me, like, um, it's very good to see that. Like, um, yeah, it's bruv, I, I feel like I say this a lot, but I feel inspired, bro. Like, yeah. after I go to events, and especially ones like this, I feel inspired, bro. Like, I feel like I'm not doing enough now. Do you get what I'm saying? So. Um, yeah, man, bro, great things for Kitch coming. Like, I'm looking forward to seeing how the how the journey's gonna pan out. Like, one year, two years, last all, bro. You get what I'm saying? Like, literally. So, yeah, man, big up Kitch, man. I see, man. I have you, man. Oh, sick. Um, and what would you tell yourself in like, or well, what would you tell yourself in five years' time? Yeah. Remember the people who were here. As I do now, I feel like I was in the presence of something special. I felt like it's been a journey, but I was at the beginning of a new chapter. A chapter that's going to see Kitch go realise his dreams and more importantly change a lot of young people's lives, change a lot of people's perspectives on what they can do, what they can achieve. If they work hard, if they believe in themselves, if they've got the right infrastructure for friends and family around, and I think Kitch has managed to do that. And I think it's even more 
it's even more important, it's even more poignant than he even knows, but I feel blessed and privileged that I was there to witness it. And I'll always be there to remind him of this, no matter where he goes and how far he goes. And I think the fact that he's at his college where he was educated at will always ground him in wherever he goes and what he does. So it's been an absolute pleasure, it's been a blessing, and I'm sure I'll be there watching for the rest of his journey, rooting, rooting, rooting for him like everybody else will. Thank you um, very much to um, everyone who's come out. It's not easy to get a crowd out uh, on a Thursday night for an event um, like this. It's not, it's not sort of a, um, a um, typical hip hop or sort of like a rap night. So I do uh, appreciate you. Uh, I tried to uh, switch it up a little bit, uh, but yeah, but um, it means so much that um, all you lot here. It's my first event, so it will be like forever in my like memory and wherever this journey takes me you look over here from the start so i really uh, appreciate that thank you they didn't have to come they got no reason to come other than supporting me and if five years time were ever i'm at I need to be able to look back at this and then be like, rah, these people were all here uh, um, for me and I can't move away from that. It's, yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Now I'm going to try to use this, this, uh, this uh, night as a way to ground my future self. Good insight into his career, his life. It's actually amazing seeing you grow, watching you grow from like when we first met, like your first R&R &R, and like seeing how much your confidence has grown since then. It's just really amazing. Keep doing what you're doing. Proud of you. Yeah, honestly, we're so proud of you. You've done your big one with this. You really ate. <laughs> and um, yeah, like we just can't wait to see your growth and see how far you go because you're so special. You've got something very um, unique. Your heart is so pure. And yeah, it's people like you that we like to see win. So yeah. we can't wait. Listen, whatever you do, make sure you do it well. Make sure you put in effort and make sure that you try your best. Because when you put everything into anything you commit to, then the world becomes your oyster and all your dreams can come true because nothing is possible and the sky's the limit, literally. I'm um, sorry, I know this is a bit extra, yeah. but um, I wanted to kind of ask you is, have you ever considered your stutter to be a weakness or your stammer to be a weakness? 100%. And I think that's why I want to big you up because being able to turn a weakness into like one of your biggest strengths like, it's true to me, I just want to give you kudos on that. Thank you, man. Yeah. I never really like, thought about it in that way before, you know. Is it? No, I never thought about it. In that way. I'm just, I'm just um, giving, I'm just um, making a new side of what I've got in it. 